sacrifice, beloved. It is you connecting to the heart of God. Over you this year, may the Lord continually speak. Psalm 71. Psalm 71. And I want us to read it together. When we get to verse 7, we stop. Can we, if this is your story, then I want you to listen carefully. Because this is my own story. And when you get home, you can go further and read it. The moment we finish our leadership series, we are still coming back to this psalm. We are going to be treating it every Thursday. How many of us were here when we did three, 60, 50 prayers to turn your life around? And you know we're mightily blessed. So the Lord is leading us to pray some deep prayers through this psalm. And if this is your story, listen carefully. It says, in you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me. I said we should read it together. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong refuge to which I may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the righteous and cruel men. For you are my hope, oh, O oh Lord God, you are my trust from my youth. By you I have upheld from birth. You are the who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall continually of you. I have become as a wonder to many, but you are my strong refuge. Amen. I am speaking of the word the Lord gave us this month, which is, Lord, make me a wonder to many. In life, you can choose what you want to be. In life, you can choose to be normal. A life, you can choose to be regular. A life, there are three regions of life. So that is why when we are praying about the first born, the second born, the third born, anyone you are, the Lord should just put the first anointing over you. You can decide to be the head. There is the scripture there in the book of what? Of the Torah me that says you will be the head and not what? Be the tail. In life, you can decide to be the tail. In life, there's even a place now when in any society they say there's an average life. That's those who stay at the middle of the line. But in life, you can decide to be the best. In life, you can decide to remain where you are, nobody is disturbing you, nothing is stressing you. In life, you can decide to make people to choose what you will be for you. But in life, you can decide to be what I call a what? A wonder. This word that says, I have become a wonder to many, is a word that every believer should hold on to. You should not be a pity to many. You should not be a problem to many. You should not be a burden to many. You should not be a calamity to many. Some are people here, they are burden to themselves, they are burden to their environment. Some, they are point of pity. Some even come for prayers. The moment they don't feel the pity, the moment they can't sense that the man of God has pity for them, they get to that point of saying, oh, you see again, there's no one to help me. Then, that's, those are the kind of people that this word is meant for. In life, you can decide to say, oh, let me just be where I am. I'm satisfied to be 
at this level, as long as I have the grace to eat, the grace to sleep, where to have roof over my head, there is nothing that is stressing me out. Let me just remain like this. But this word says, the Lord has made me a what? A wonder to many. And I'm trying to tell you that the day you decide and say, Lord, put me in the school of wonder. The Lord himself is looking for people that he can use as wonders around the earth. The Lord is looking for people that he can coach into becoming his what? His wonder level men and women. Jesus said to us in the book of words, John chapter 4 verse 48, he says, they then said Jesus unto them, except ye see signs and what? And wonders, you will not believe. For some of us to come out of deliverance, come out delivered rather, we need the grace for us to become a wonder. For some of us to rewrite our family history, you need to possess this wonder-working grace of God over our life. Have I seen God make people a wonder to behold? Yes. Have I seen God make someone to be a wonder whereby people that don't know their God, they will just come to them and say, take me to your God. I have countless examples. Are you saying that without a family history, or a family background, without knowing anybody, without me having anyone as a source of pillar. Oh, yes. I have seen God making people of no background, people of no strong surname, people of no strong heritage, people of no strong backing. He has a specialty of lifting the poor out of the dung gill. And does not just set him up. Oh, the Bible says he sets him among the what? Among the princes. There is an anointing that can make you a wonder. The problem of so many of us is that we are always satisfied in our comfort zone. Some of you are in that comfort zone because every basic necessity of life that you need is coming your way. No, the Lord is looking for men that your wonder is going to be a preaching to so many people out there. Some of us don't understand that for every level you want to get to, there is a devil. And if you want to make sure that your life does not succumb to that devil, you need to possess the grace of a wonder person over your life. There was this particular nation that in less than one year, they had a shaking of more than three, three to four people were removed from office. The first one was thrown out. I think the second one was thrown out. But the moment... Some of these people that understand spiritual things, the moment they got to the post, do you notice that everything in that nation settled? There was something that was overturning the people. They were making error. They were making error until it became one person. And the first thing the person did was the first of all light up their own ritual by the entrance of the place. Until today, the person is sitting. Nothing is shifting that man. I pray for you. May the Lord make you a wonder. Yeah. When the Lord makes you a wonder, you don't need to preach salvation to people. Your own life will tell people that this man here, this woman here is a what? Is a wonder. That is why we are calling for this kind of prayer meeting. That if you want to be the first to do something, if you want to be the first to rewrite your family history, there are powers that will stand because you want to be a wonder, what nobody has ever done before. There are powers that will stand, that will come. I have seen the power before. He has showed up to me before. And he said, ah, nobody has crossed this place before. What? You want to cross it. And he said something, you have finally crossed it. I prophesy over your life. Whatever is saying you will not be a wonder, let that power die. Why is it that Adam struggled a life? Why is it that he was the first, but he was the most one that put everybody in problem? 
Why did Cain struggle in life? If you love, go further again, why did Esau struggle in life? If you go further again, why did that man, that man that Joe was talking about yesterday, he was talking about Ephraim and what? And Manasseh. Why was his first converted to the second? If you go further again, if you check carefully, why did Esau become the second? If you go further again, when you read the book of Genesis 49, you will see the story of that young man that was supposed to receive the great what? Blessings of his what? Of his father. When you look at it, Genesis was never one. And Jacob called his sons and said, gather together that I may tell you what shall before you in the last days. There are supposed to be 12. And he gathered together and hear you sons of Jacob and listen to Israel, your father. And he started with what? With the first child. And he said, Reuben, you are my what? My firstborn. My might and the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. But something came upon this man. Something, look at this prophetic word over him. And the next thing he said what? You are unstable as a water. And this was the word that came to him. Reuben, when the Lord said to us in the book of Exodus that the first man inherits everything, the first son takes over everything. Look at what happened to him. Look at it here. There is a problem in the family of these people that whoever is meant to be first lose their first and he goes to the second. Look at what happened again. Did you read there? He says, you shall not what? Excel. Look at what happened though. Remember, and I will tell you a story here. This is Jacob. He says, why is it that you cannot excel? He says, because you went up to your father's bed. Then you defied it. You went up to my what? To my couch. Is this not the same thing, if you read carefully, that happened to Esau? Esau was supposed to have it. He made a terrible mistake and his first was shifted away. I prophesy upon somebody here. Every battle that says you will not be the first at great things in life, let that battle cease today in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear a powerful amen? Can I hear a thunderous amen? And all of a sudden, Somebody who is meant to be the first. That was how the story of Reuben went away. But if you carefully check, if you jump to verse what? To verse 20, 22. He was a last born. Last born again. The Lord wanted to give him the grace of what? Of a first born. But something still happened. Listen, you know, he, everybody in the family... They were, they were giving them how their future would look like. But look at what happened in 22. Joseph is a fruitful bull, a fruitful bull by a well. His branches run over the wall. Look at what he said again. Fruitful man, meaning this one, we knew he was going to do very well. But there were some powers that didn't want him to be fruitful. Look at what the Bible says. There, verse 23. It says the what? The archers have what? have bitterly grieved him, shot at him, and hated him. I'm praying for somebody here. You know yourself. Your battle started from a very young age. If you like, sit down. You better jump up and shout amen. I decree. Power that has seen that you are a first anointed person. Your force should always be the first. And they have been shooting at you. All those that have hated you for nothing. Let them be wasted by fire. 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 Sit down. Sit down. The Bible says, but if not for God. Look at it. This is what you say when a man becomes a wonder. The Bible says, but his bow remained in strength. And the arms of his hands were made strong. 
By whom? By the hands of the mighty God of what? Of Jacob. From there is the shepherd. Hey! Last born. To now become what? The stone of Israel. By the God of your father who will help you. And by the almighty who will bless you. With blessings of heaven above. Blessings of the deep that lies beneath. Blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of your father have excelled the blessings of my ancestors. Up to the utmost bound of the everlasting hills. They shall be on the head of whom? Of Joseph. And of the crown of the head of him who was separate. Can you see? What happened to him? Separate from what? From his brothers. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power that says in your family, everybody go line up and they'll be punishing them. Any power that says it is as they line up that they'll be cutting them down. Look at this prophetic word. He said you will not be like your brothers. He said you have been separated from them. You will not pay for what you did not buy. Is somebody getting my word today? He says, leave them alone. He said, he said they are there. He said, but my own God. This is his father. They were 12. They all came out from him. But he looked at him and said, you, 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 you will always be separate. You see, when they were trying to kill him, they didn't know that that prophecy would turn around. And which is that they wanted to kill him because of his dream. But his father remembered that dream. And he said, you, your own case shall be separate. I prophesy over your life. I'm in that realm right now. Whatever spoils marriage in your lineage, whatever kills greatness in your marriage, whatever stops destiny in your marriage, whatever is making everybody to go the way they are going, because you are under this anointing, you are separated from them. 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 Sit down. We are going to move on now. What I'm telling you here is very prophetic. By this, if you look at his life, his destiny, he became a wonder to many. He should have died. He was sold. He should have what? remained a man that will end up in prison. But the Lord showed me mercy. He would have remained as what we call a sugar boy, a gigolo in the house of what? Of Potiphar. But the Lord made sure and said, no, your destiny is more than this. He would have remained in that jail. Everybody could have forgotten him. But because of this thing we are talking about, a wonder to many, the Lord still kept him on. It was in that prison that he had a voice. And in that prison, the same way the Lord organized the meeting for him at the palace. And by after that meeting at the palace, his story changed. But you know, your story might change, but you know it will be beautiful until those who know your story come around and encounter it. And say, this is not the person I used to know. Everything about you has changed. And when the Lord will organize the occasion, his own brethren came. And do you know what happened? When he announced to them that I am what? I am Joseph, your brother. You know what happened to them? They wanted to die. They, they pushed their head down. You know what somebody would have wished? I wish I was the one they wanted to kill. I wish I was the one that we threw. Because maybe this is how my story would have been. I'm praying for you. Whoever is doing something strange against you, there's somebody here, I can see an office floor. Any conspiracy against you in that floor, I cancel it sevenfold. <laughs> At the end of it all, it became a what? A wonder to what? To many. That is the grace we want to pray for. And listen to me. Number one secret for you to become a wonder to many is for you to know your God. The second secret for you 
to become a wonder to many is for you to have a positive revolutionary life. The third thing is this, is for you to live for God. Live for God. The fourth thing is this, it's for you to live above whatever condition that you are going through now. The man that his brother sold out, the man that his august wife lied on, is still the same man who went into the prison and saw someone who was looking down and said, cheer up, cheer up. I am the, I've been here before you. What, what is the reason? It seems you are new in this prison. What, can you tell me your story? He, live, he was living above the storm. And the next thing that you must know, if you want to what? To be a wonder to many, a wonder to those around you, is very, very, be very, very sure. And be very, very sure. I say it again. Be very, very sure that you are on the Lord's side. We don't want, I don't celebrate testimonies that God did not give you. Your strength gave you. I don't want the one that sin delivered it to your hands. And the next thing is this. You must tell God that if he makes you a wonder, it's for his name. Not for anybody. Remember where we read the book of John? He said, if people don't see sign and what? And wonders. They will not what? Believe. You know why some people celebrate celebrities in their church? It's because people should assume that those celebrities are members of their church. And that's how God makes them celebrities. You know why people celebrate all those kind of things? It's because people want to flow with the tide. Oh, that is where the thing is celebrating. That's where it is happening. So people will come there. But you don't have to fake it. The grace you need in your life is the grace of God. When the Lord makes you a wonder, from nobody, camera will come and look for you. When the Lord makes you a wonder, you don't need to beg anyone. The Lord will just begin to position you. That's what I'm talking about here for somebody there. May the Lord make you a wonder. Yeah. What did I say again? May the Lord make you a what? A wonder. And that is what this service is all about. It doesn't matter. If you want to do first things, they will fight you. If you want to do first level, they will attack you. You are the first to graduate. Immediately you made that mistake of graduating. Where is the job? You are the first to buy a new car. You are the first to travel abroad. Immediately you travel abroad. What happened? You are the first to go and do this thing. After that, can you say you are building on it? You encountered battle after your first project. Since that time, there have been serious challenge. You are a firstborn, but it's as if all the family attack, they tested it on you. It's your body that they test everything. You are the firstborn, but it's as if you did not even gather yourself until you are in your late 40s, in your 50s. That's when you're saying, ah, this is not who I am meant to be. You are the first to marry, but that marriage now, when... When people are talking about marriage, you say, me, I don't have marriage. What I have is ma. It's not marriage. Because there's nothing that shows that we are married. You are the firstborn, but the hand of the enemy is always trying to pull you back to be the least or to be the last. Or perhaps you are like Joseph, that the Lord has given what we call the firstborn grace over the nation, over the family. They always try to kill you and say, let us see what will become of our dream. Let us see what will become of his dream. It's like the story of somebody who wants to get married. She's the first to be married in her family. <laughs> and anytime she goes for a date, when she sits down with the person, she will, she will begin to talk off point. Can you imagine? You will say things that doesn't matter. But after the, immediately in that date again, before she leaves, she will take over herself again and she will go. Is that no wickedness? Is that the story of that person? Who would have been the first person to be liberated or to be promoted in that family? Nobody has ever occupied that post. And the man that said he will make him the head said, let me just travel to Abuja and come back. And I assure you, this deal will transform your life. The man told him, stay in the hotel when I'm coming back. Just stay in the hotel. 
be enjoying your life. Your life has changed. It is that same night that the man just was watching TV and they heard that he has been removed from the position. But there was somebody that could have been the first, but there was something that fought against it. I pray for you. In this meeting today, your first will always be the first. Bow down your heads in prayer and say, Father, anything in my life that is cutting me down from being a wonder, anything in my life that will not let your wonder grace to manifest over my life, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me and remove them today in the name of Jesus. Can somebody pray that prayer? Can somebody shout it loud and clear? Anything in my life that will not establish your wonder grace over me, Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, take control over my life. Let the wickedness fail. Let the satanic rage scatter. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. All eyes closed. If you are here and you are not born again, and you want God to help you, you want to be the first at everything you do. You want the oil of leadership and the pace setter anointing to be upon you. Wherever you are and you are not born again, just raise up your right hand now. I know you are here. So that when we start to pray, you will be able to walk in this light and in this case. Just raise up your right hand wherever you are so that Jesus can save you. God bless you. I can see that hand. Don't be afraid. Just lift it up. Just lift it up. And wherever you are, please just stand up so that we can lead you to Christ. Just stand up wherever you are. God bless you. Just stand up. Don't be afraid. The Lord has made you a wonder to many. Don't be afraid. I'm waiting for somebody there. You know you don't know God. Just stand up so that Jesus can help you today. Say this out and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus, please write my name in the book of life. I forsake Satan and his works, and I reign eternally with you from today. Lord Jesus, please change me. Dwell in me and make me dwell in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray for these ones, that Lord, you will save them. Now, Lord, these ones will encounter what I call salvation. It shall lead them to testimony. It shall lead them to glory. And it shall lead them to abundance. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. To sacrifice, beloved, it is you connecting to the heart of God. Over you this year, may the Lord continually speak. Eka poli andarli boko shetelia.